uh, today we'll discuss about usage of exclusive indicator in access sequence in this video i will explain uh, four things first is what is exclusive indicator and uh, before going to explain detail in about exclusive indicator and its demonstrations we have to understand basic condition technique because uh, ultimately uh, your exclusive indicator also play a vital role in your condition technique next is uh, that with exclusive indicator and without exclusive indicator how system behave in your sales document these two demo i will explain first let's uh, understand what is exclusive indicator uh, and where it is applied in generally uh, for one condition type that uh, is a one access sequence in this access sequence this is access sequence for your pr00 pricing condition type and in this access sequence uh, uh, four tables have been added in in systematic manner that is you can say a more specific to uh, generic manner first is 305 table second is 306 next is the 406 and 304 these are the tables and against this table you can see extreme end uh, right end you will see uh, the ex exclusive checkboxes has been activated what does that does it mean it means that if system your condition technique find the valid condition record for 305 or first any record table against in the table any table then it will not jump or not access remaining uh, other tables uh, condition records okay and, and the, uh, let's see uh, then uh, we have to understand condition technique a little bit i will not explain in detail condition technique i will explain uh, is related to exclusive indicator first uh, let's see uh, if you are going to create any sales order at header level system determine pricing procedure this pricing procedure is determined on the basis of sales area document pricing procedure customer pricing procedure and this is your standard pricing procedure in this standard pricing procedure uh, as in when you fill any line item in this um, sales order along with quantity then system try to find its net value by accessing each and every condition type sequence manner of this pricing procedure here you can see for example system find two condition type one is the pr00 then system first access your condition type pr00 and it's try to check what is its uh, access sequence that is your pr02 and after that system will check uh, how many tables are signed within that uh, access sequence and uh, within that how many condition tables you can see there are three tables in this access sequence and system will access uh, or check the your first table that is your customer and material table what it will check what are the information within your sales order counter check or match with your uh, customer and material tables if it find then okay if it didn't find then it will uh, here in, in our case it, di it didn't find the valid condition record then what system will do that system means in the sense here is the your condition technique functionality then your condition technique functionality uh, goes to your next table that is your plant and material and this plant and material is the one table and system found the valid condition record and apply this uh, value along with it if it is scale applied then you will check the scale on the basis of scale system find the valid condition record for the condition type pr00 that means uh, it stop condition technique uh, for this pr00 and it will check for your next subsequent condition type within your pricing procedure see uh, this is the another condition type that is k007 and um, for this one system try to access its condition uh, access sequence its table and after this table system find the valid condition record and apply to it like that the cycle of the condition technique will 
execute until unless it find the last condition type of this spicing procedure this is the uh, your condition technique basic condition technique now we will understand if you check this exclusive indicator in access sequence against each and every table how system will behave in your cells order this is your uh, condition uh, access sequence and against this all are activated but uh, here uh, there are uh, how many tables are the four tables out of them we have maintained 305 406 and 304 we have maintained condition record let me show you these are the condition record for the PR00 and you can see found uh, here 305 customer material specific I have maintained condition record plant and material and last is 304 that is material specific and if I will try to create uh, order how it will behave again I am telling you how system will behave in graphical manner first system will determine your pricing procedure then condition type then access sequence then uh, it will find the three first table 305 customer and material specific condition record if system will find then it will stop accessing a remaining table that is 406 and 304 and here is the example where i have just created one sales order and system find the condition record from the th first table that is 305 table let's analyze this and uh, your uh, uh, condition uh, uh, condition type edge of that line item here is the you can see this is the your condition type pr00 and within that you can see these are the pr02 is your access sequence within that access sequence these are the tab tables are kept in sequence form that is 10 20 30 35 and 40 and but here you can see for the first sequence line 10 system found condition record it is displaying here condition record has been found and it match uh, in left uh, if you see these are the three columns first column is related to your tables and second columns related to um, information of your document and table information or table condition record and your document uh, information is matched then it will display record uh, valid condition record within your document against that condition type okay and if you click this view button if you click this view button and system will show you this table name or technical details see uh, this is your a305 table and it's this is vkorg and kunar mtnr these are the sales uh, uh, organization distribution and uh, distribution channel D and uh, customer and material these are the uh, information or field of this uh, a3055 this is your pricing double and these are the komk vkorg this these are the uh, information of your document which is uh, capture for the time being captured in your kmk or kmp table and system found that condition record 1005 and it found the value for the first uh, table that why system is not going to access uh, remaining one remaining means uh, we have maintained the condition record for the plant and material you can see access has not been executed due to previous access that means your condition technique uh, did not check or did not jump to remaining uh, tables this is the 40 40 is the last one now uh, we'll check uh, if we'll do uncheck this exclusive indicator against uh, uh, each and every table in your access sequence how system will we have let's see uh, this is the uh, same access sequence pr02 and against uh, already i have told you i have maintained a condition record for the customer and material a plant and material material with release that's why against this i have deactivated remove the exclusive in the indicator and save it after that how system will behave in your sales order let's say uh, this is uh, 
one graphical way i will explain you same thing system will check your pricing procedure condition type access sequence and it will check your first table 305 i will find the condition record and even though uh, it find the condition record it will jump to next table 406 it will check it will find the condition record then uh, 304 then uh, like that it will find the all the condition records from 305 406 304 and these uh, informations will display against this condition type in your line item of, item of that cell sorter see uh, here you can see uh, uh, pr00 appear thrice why because your condition technique found information from each these three tables that's why it appeared uh, three condition uh, condi three uh, uh, condition value against this condition a uh, type pr00 but uh, that is a previous one is inactive due to its pricing functionality that is another functionality of the pricing but it is showing all the condition records which are if uh, in now uh, in your document okay if we'll do same uh, test for your discount condition type let's see uh, we'll do test for the customer discount con uh, condition type k007 its access sequence also k007 and uh, this condition type has two table one is the discount uh, division and customer specific another one is the, your matrix specific against which we have maintained condition record but we have uh, removed this exclusive indicator and you can see this report of k007 where we have maintained condition record for both the tables and if you create any sales order and uh, you can see that k007 uh, has, has appeared twice because uh, it access each and every table and its value also okay like P, uh, pr00 uh, it, it didn't deactivate that is functionality only for the pricing condition type but here uh, all the discount applied to condition type if you deactivate your um, exclusive indicator it will uh, whatever the it will find if it will match any uh, tables records that, that valid uh, record will be appear in your uh, document uh, whether uh, whatever may be it is not advisable it is not best practice best practice is telling that you should activate exclusive indicator against the each and every uh, table within the access sequence what will the benefit of the first uh, it will uh, tell uh, it will show you best valid condition record that means more specific to generic uh, um, tables you have to maintain your access sequence out of them system will display or apply best valid condition record uh, as per the condition type and also it improve the system performance because un unnecessarily it will not access the remaining tables if it will find the valid condition record there is no use to access remaining tables that's why it improve the system performance hope it will help you to understand uh, what is the usage of exclusive indi indicator if you uh, if it is in, uh, helpful to you please subscribe and like this uh, channel thank you